Namaste or Assalamu Alaikum. Dosto! I'm at a little daba here in Punjab. And guess where we're going today? Somewhere very special. I'm going to Bhagat Singh's village and birthplace. It's nearby here. And if you don't know who Bhagat Singh is, Shaheed Bhagat Singh, he is a young, he was a young Indian freedom fighter and he inspired a lot of people in India. If you've ever been to Haryana, Punjab or Delhi, you definitely, definitely would have seen his photo on so many cars as you traveled around these places. So Chalo, let's go and visit Bhagat Singh's ancestral home. So I am here walking through Bhagat Singh's village. Pretty incredible. And um, there's a lot of historical places here in Pakistan which I wish Indians could visit. So I'll do my best to cover them for you like I'm doing here. And one thing Indians will be happy about is everybody here in this area, this Faisalabad district, they know who Bhagat Singh is and they know where his houses. We stopped so many times to ask people, Shaheed Bhagat Singh Kagar Kaha hai. And yeah, we found it just down here. Just walking toward his house now. We're gonna go inside, I'll show you around. And this is just a typical Punjabi village, okay? Like the kids on the street playing, following me around. There's ducks everywhere, there's bass everywhere, guy. There's people sitting on carts on just the side of the road, just chilling. So yeah, very, very typical Punjabi village that Shaheed Bhagat Singh is from. And now I think we should take a look inside his birthplace. And this is the village that he grew up in. Welcome to Banga village in Punjab, Pakistan, where Bhagat Singh was born and grew up. It's a small village of just 5,000 people, and it's around three hours from the Indian border. The front house is a reception area for guests, and after this tour, I'll take you there, and I'll show you a traditional Punjabi village meal. But first, Let's start with these cuties. They're the neighbors of Bhagat Singh's house and they followed my every move as village kids do. And they asked me to click this photo. Now let's go inside the house. This is the room where Bhagat Singh was born in September 1907. It's now decorated in his memory with photos. This charaka is his mother's and she used to spin cotton with it to make clothes and bed sheets. Nearby is the school where Bhagat Singh studied. The headmaster there said something that I really liked. He said, the best way to pay tribute to Bhagat Singh is to teach others that being a human is more important than religion, color, and race, and to focus on doing good work for the betterment of humanity. He says, our religion may be different, but people on both sides are the same. Throughout my travels in Pakistan, this is the message that I've heard many times from the common man 
and please share some love in the comments if you feel the same way. Back inside the house, you can see some Pakistani tourists. They've also come to pay tribute to Bhagat Singh. This tree just outside the front door is special because it's said that Bhagat Singh and his elder brother planted it. It's a bear tree, which we also find in my wife's village and she's always eating the berries from it. Now we move to the end of Bhagat Singh's life. At the age of 23, he was martyred here, where this roundabout now stands, on March 23rd, 1931. This is Bhagat Singh Chok in Lahore. The jail's gallows once stood here. So, Dosto, I've really been welcomed nicely here to Bhagat Singh Valley. We have, look at this, they're even feeding me, it's incredible, it's so kind of them. We have Sarso Kasag Maki Roti. And look at this, they've, just, they've made it fresh for us today, so really, really kind of them. Uh, see how it tastes, nah? Oh yeah, there are tons of makin on top, the white stuff you can see, tons of butter. Incredible, what a day, nah? What a day. They've made it really, really spicy, really tasty. Spicier than normal. You can only get this flavor if you eat it in the village because they've just harvested it. Now this is Shaka Wali Chai. So this is like a like pure sugar, you know what I mean? Like unrefined. And we're having it in our tea here. Thank you so much for the hospitality and um, I wish all of my Indian friends could come here and visit the Savali and have the same experience. But until then, you have this video.